All right guys, today we're gonna talk about some knife modifications and a few other things. Mainly gonna be about this pair of Hogue Deco Worn Clips right here. And before we get to that, I did get my Patreon finished up. All the testing I'm doing, shipping is getting to be more than I can handle by myself tried to cover it as long as I possibly could so I went ahead and finished my patreon up made it live if you can give something to help out with the shipping of loaner knives and to acquire different knives for testing I would greatly appreciate it I will have a link for that down in the description as well as the other normal stuff that I put in there. I would like to thank Tim Becker for becoming my first Patreon. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So let's go ahead and move on and talk about these. And I have a few other knives that I've done some things to that we're going to talk about as well. So... I did post pictures of this on my Instagram and in a couple groups I'm in on Facebook. You can see that I did quite a bit to one and I am not finished with it yet. All I did so far were the handle modifications. So go ahead and well, I guess this would be the best way. If I line them up, you can see that I changed the finger placement. I moved it forward to keep them lined up so that this looks right. All right, there we go. You can see that I changed the finger placement and moved them forward. Well, it doesn't seem like a huge difference. I also changed the end of the handle and it is a hair shorter than what it was but if you take a look this is what the deca looks like in my hand the way it comes i can't get four fingers on it however once i did modify it to the skinny version like this I get a much more comfortable grip and I actually have some knife sticking out of my pocket out of my hand even though like I said it is a hair shorter so what did I do since this one's already done I'll go ahead and show you on the one I haven't touched yet I know it's hard to see any of you that have one know there are spring pockets in here for the locks so you do have to be careful of those However, although I did thin it out a little bit on this one, there's still plenty of meat there, probably more G10 than what Spyderco would leave you on a PM2 or Para 3. So I took this entire area right here down, got rid of this finger groove. Now what that leaves you with when you take that down is you have a huge divot right here, like a, it's almost like an extra curve. So I also took this area of the G10 down and blended it together. I moved this entire angle forward, changed this entire area, got rid of that flat. I also did not like how the radius by the lanyard hole was pointed. So as you can see, I rounded that over, I rounded the end of the scales differently. I didn't do a whole lot here, I kind of left this one alone, I just put a little bit more radius in there, but you can see I did completely change this entire angle. And while it doesn't seem like a lot, like I said, for me, it makes a huge difference in how this feels. 
for me as a knife. Now, I am not done. Both of these, this is going to get some handle modifications. Probably a little bit different than this. Not that I don't like this, but there are some other things I want to try. So, I'm going to go ahead and try it on the second one that I have. Also, both of these are going to have the blades modified. One quite a lot more than the other one. And that was another thing that I did want to try. So, that's what I did to these decas. It's not terribly hard for you to do. If it's not something you're comfortable doing, absolutely get a hold of me by email or on Instagram. And I can go ahead and do whatever handle modifications you would like done. So that is the pair of DECA. I also went ahead and did an acid brass coating on this Positron. It's not sunny out today. It's pretty overcast. Don't know exactly how well that's coming through. But I did do the entire blade. The wire clip, I don't recall what metal they use for the wire clip exactly. It does take an acid finish. However, it does not get as dark as most blades do and it is hard to see but it did pick up a little bit of the brass like I said I kind of wish the sun was out but the sun hasn't been out here for this entire week really this one's already spoken for this is something else that I can do if you're interested in an acid brass finish you can also hit me up. This isn't so much something that I modified as a different set of scales that I bought. These are caveman scales for the Manix 2. Steve also does them for the bug out and the paramilitary 2. And I do have a scale off of a Mannix right here. So we'll go ahead and line that up to the hardware. And as you can see, it doesn't want to focus good. It does change the finger choil area a little bit. It does change the forward finger area. It takes this hump right here in the scales out the back follows most of the line until you get to the extra piece where the handles extended it is a lanyard hole delete and it is straightened across the bottom here a lot more than the Mannix is now don't get me wrong you guys know I love the Mannix I do not find it to be uncomfortable at all However, I absolutely love these caveman scales. They make it even more comfortable, and I don't really do lanyards on many knives, so I'm really happy that the lanyard is deleted. It does add two more points of hardware with an aluminum backspacer. And since you lose the liners and original scales from the knife, this actually takes, if you're doing a standard Mannix that is 4.9 ounces, or whether it is a Sprint Run Mannix that is 4.2 ounces, once you put the caveman scales with the redesigned handle on, it takes this knife down to 3.4 ounces. So, great feel, great weight. The action is super fast on it. Absolutely no blade play, no up and down. Can't recommend these scales enough.
I would like to pick some more sets up when I can. It just takes a great knife and makes it even better. And go ahead and start with this one. I didn't do a whole lot to this. I did have an extra set of 204P scales. And you can see that I went ahead and took that hard corner off of the scales all the way around the outside. I have been carrying this for the past week. And it makes a huge difference. There's nowhere on the scales that are digging into your hands now. The only thing that I actually still feel a little bit is the lock. And it is nowhere near as bad as it was when you had the square edges of the scales digging into your hand. And since I did go ahead and do those, pair of threes already have somewhat of a chamfer around the edge of the scales but I did want to take some a little further so I put quite a big chamfer on these maximum scales and again just like I thought it made an even bigger difference on the para 3 for me the lock is no longer a problem it wasn't so much the lock that ever dug into my hand rather the you could just feel the scales more and really taking these corners down too helped out a lot so anyway I grip it now and use it much better than what it was before I do have some other scales that I'm going to do and I will show those in a later video And now we're up to a couple of knives that I am about to. And also, since I'm curious, I think I'm going to go ahead and those of you that know, you can do the skinny mod on the pair of three scales. I'm curious to find out what it feels like. So I am going to go ahead and take this section down right here. And go ahead and do one skinny and see how that actually feels. That's something that I want to do to some of my other pair of threes or not. And what I have coming up is I am going to do some modifications to this cold steel air light drop point. And you will see another video on this one as well as a couple other knives. And I'm also going to do some modifications to this QSP Penguin. Probably one of the only things I'm not going to change too much on this would be the handle scales. But I am going to do something with them also. So, the air light, the penguins coming up. I also have a few other ones that I haven't told anybody about yet that are in the process of being modified. So, you will see a video on those soon. And that's about it. get one last look at these because they are also going to change I did do some edge retention with these and you guys will see that in an upcoming video so that's about all I have if you can join my patreon I would really appreciate it like I said the link will be down in the description below that's all I have. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.